Hey guys, so today I'm going to unbox Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. It's one of the best phones I have used. I had this phone last year, but since I didn't have a proper setup to make a video back then, I want to do it now for you guys. So here's the box. It says me on front and uh, on the back. You can say it's a global version, 6 GB, 64 GB storage. So let's open this thing and see what we get inside of the box. To truly explore is to exhaust countless possibilities. For an inch of progress, we are willing to work miles. That's a nice presentation. Thank you, Legion. As you can see, the device is wrapped up very nicely. And uh, we will keep it aside and see what else we get. So, here's the Xiaomi charger. 9 volt 2 ampere so this phone supports quick charge 3.0 and uh, we also get the USB type C cable uh, sadly there's no headphones in the box but uh, there must be a case and some paperwork here and uh, yes we also have a headphone dongle since this phone doesn't have a headphone jack and uh, a case okay so we have headphone dongle sim ejector tool and a case that will provide better grip and protection since it's a very slippery phone uh, it says mimics designed by xiaomi so i like this case so let's keep everything aside and uh, have a look at the device You hear that? That's a nice sound. And wow. It still feels super premium. I love the ceramic on the back. It's less slippery than the original Mimics because it has aluminum on sides. And definitely it's more durable than the full ceramic body of the Mimics 1. So let's try opening this thing. I think it doesn't have enough power. Uh, let's try it one more time yeah it doesn't have enough juice to turn on so I'm gonna charge it and uh, I will get back to you with the short review of the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 hey guys so I've spent three days with this phone already and as I mentioned in the start of the video I had this phone last year and switching again to this phone in the year 2019 is not a bad experience at all. The build quality is super premium, it provides pretty satisfying feeling in hand. And this material on the back looks way more premium than the glass pack phones. And in a world of different notch phones, it's the best full view display experience with no notch and almost no bezels. This display is ideal for gaming and watching videos, it's a 5.99 inches 1080p LCD panel and is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 4. It's not the brightest screen but that difference is only noticeable if you put other high-end LCD panel phones side by side. The MIUI has been really impressive. I usually customize my phones to give them stock and red look but with this phone, the UI experience has been really impressive and unique. It has the best navigation gestures on any Android. This beauty is packed with 3400 mAh battery and it's large enough to give a day battery life with every 6 hours of screen on time which is really good. It has Snapdragon 835 chipset and 6GB of RAM and it's still a very smooth performer. The gaming experience is also good, it runs heavy games with no lag. The camera is a bit of a worry if you're into photography because it's a mid-range quality camera and not up to the flagship level because it was a flagship phone but uh, other than that i think it's still a very good phone so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one